um, as I said on the group, guys, make use of this opportunity that is uh, given to you now to try and learn and educate uh, yourself about the life that you guys will be facing next year. So try and ask um, everything that you have uh, in mind uh, concerning last year or next year. Um, and make sure that you make use of this opportunity because I stand here in front of you having not received such an opportunity um, to sort of educate myself better about um, the course that I wanted. You know, like from the first sense, you can always read what you want uh, to hear or what you want to see. But this is an opportunity to have to ask all the questions that you probably couldn't get answers uh, for in the prospectus. So uh, make use of this opportunity. You guys can start going to the stores. Um, uh, we don't expect any chaos. Uh, be respectful and uh, wait, uh, respect each other as well. And uh, you know, just give each other time to ask questions and not speak, you know, uh, simultaneously. So um, yeah, we can start with the day, and you guys can just go uh, the. Uh, economics and management science faculty is here, uh, they are over there, and the law faculty is here, so they over there, um, and um, the science faculty is also over there, um, agri science, the only man standing. Yes, definitely. Living and proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. No, you can just go. Yes. So, um, um, okay, cool. So the question is, um, can you do um, wine making? So the course's name is just to be easy in viticulture and the knowledge. So the viticulture and knowledge so that you obviously apply the same way to look four years, I think it's four years. Yeah, so all the, obviously all the degrees in uh, AGU Sciences as far as I know is four years. So you guys, um, so of course the four years, the same as the engineering faculty. Your fourth year is equivalent to honor. It's not your honor year, but it's equivalent. So what happens is EBA law, it takes you three years. You still study law, but you also have um, social sciences um, modules. So when the three years, after you finish your three years, you do four year post grad element, which is um, still doing it. And then since also if you come law, if you come law, it has accounting and business development. Yeah, it has accounting, economy, management, um, science, um, and then now you think it's made a single What did you say? Joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost the gateway to get into medicine is the one to So my modules in the first year I had chemistry, physics, maths, um, psychology and biology. But then in the second year now I have physiology, psychology, biochemistry, biometry and uh, genetics. Yeah. Okay. But also it's also, it's also a great way to neuroscience. Yeah, you can go to psychology or the physiology. From what you're studying? Yeah. That's cool. And you're planning to go into medicine? It's a possibility. It's much more. last year. Four years. Four years. Um, physiotherapy. Yeah, you can Just check that. Yeah, but, um, we're weighing options, hey? We're checking it. Yeah, yeah. And also, it depends on this course, because you can also like major in genetics, right? So, you can double major in physio, in, in another in psychology, or genetics, or genetics, or genetics. Okay. So, 
You guys are gonna make me good. Ah, ah, okay. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Renee Raj and Transport Economics on a student at the University of Stellenbosch. So basically what that is, is the study of economics of the transport modes we have in South Africa and in the other country as in honors you're going to do tableau. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so that's the thing, we only um, write exam for that module. Others, we only do assignments. But the thing is about honors, it's very overwhelming. Like I had a few breakdowns. Yeah. 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 It's only the first semester. Next week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's every week, and it's like three. You have three due dates a week, and then you have to prepare for exam. And it's quizzes. Like yeah, it's very overwhelming. Um, but I think if you stick to mind to it, you'll be, you will be able to do it. Like we have our own lab, and for like you can work with like you have to go to the lab. Nice. You can switch. Do you always switch lab in one time? Like you only go like transport. So I blow as a module, transport. Um, I had that time that was switch. Um, and then I have um, um economic. In first year, you don't really have a choice. Like in first year, there's just like you should choose between um, accounting introduction to accounting and then accounting. accounting. But it's actually the same module. They just the uh, the work, like, like how fast thing. they explain so the work in the like introduction to the like, is just slower than the actual accounting yeah. yeah. module. Um, so that's so the only you thing you have to choose and then further on, you, in second um, year you should choose, like well, you, you, you can high. choose but modules that you want to take, like in which you want to learn. I don't know if that makes sense. They don't say choose like you should choose what you want to do. If you want to go in finance, um, entrepreneurship, or whatever you want to do. Like there's a lot of options, but then you go and read in the, in the um, yearbook. Because they explain every module that you can choose or in there. So that's how you're going to go. Because it is a lot of but it's only one module. Yeah, you only do financial accounting. But in your second year, it's you have management accounting, financial accounting, and what's the third one? Auditing and taxation. What's the, what's the example of like management accounting? <laughs> um, okay, management accounting. Um, imagine. So the company has two projects that they need to they want to invest in. So then they do calculations to see which project will have like the highest return. Then you consider all the available information. So it's not like you become a director or something. No, it's not problem solving. Yeah, and making decisions and yeah, like fun. if you want to become like a financial manager, that's where management accounting will come. And financial accounting is pure accounting. Yeah. What year are you starting with? I'm first year. Fourth year. Mm -hmm. I tried that account. Yeah, yeah, I'm aiming for that. Wow. Like, what's the max? Like, say now you have enough experience, what's the max that you can? Ooh. Is it like, depends, it's on the depends on the firm. Yeah. Depends on the firm. Yeah. Yeah, but you can you get a lot. Yeah, but you can get a lot. Essentially, you're always done. Because you don't want to go on and off and end it. Your business is going to be unsuccessful mm -hmm. and it's not going to work out. So now you want someone that could show you before the time look, this is going to work, or this is the chances that it's going to work. So basically, you can do it some steps. You know, um, yeah, I, I think so. I, I realize that, man, but I also realize if I get a job I'm a chartered accountant and I work 12 hours a day. My wife has so much more opportunity. <laughs> Thank you.
divided into two sections, there's viticulture and oenology. Unfortunately, you have to study everything because um, wine is made in the vineyard before it goes into the cellar. Um, you basically need level, do you need level five for math and level four for physics and upper council English, uh, regardless of the school language. You apply. I know, but it's better when you have the experience. No, the firms are not looking for experience when you're in Canada. Because they, they're looking for someone who doesn't know anything. They don't teach you. You, you must oh. just have competence. <laughs> Thank you. Are you for example, when you do law, you start, when you do law, you don't have to be a law. Let's start there. There is so much you can do in the Like, so much. You can become an academic. Academic and become a professor. A lecturer or professor. Yeah. Teach law. You get your law degree, you start a federal course, and then you teach law. And then you can you can work in the bank and become a legal advisor. You can Like you don't have you don't have to go to court. Not everyone can start a law and go to court. Get lawyers and do something. Just do your best. So, because in the first instance, I feel like you, you just, you're gonna have, you're gonna have, you're gonna have, you're gonna have, you're gonna have. So those three things are like a certain story. So if you're confused with this, you can fix it in chemistry. You're gonna have some interest. So you're gonna see which one you enjoy the most. Yeah. It's not about which one is more difficult. Which one you enjoy? So you can enjoy something, but it's still, still child. Computer science guy, what is programming? I don't understand. What is programming, guys? Like programming is like writing. It's like language. It's like learning is course. Mm -hmm. You're learning any other language. That's mm -hmm. what you're writing. The message you need to send out to the monitor. 
it's me communicating mm-hmm. to you right now. That's coding, but we're just talking in a language. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, code, but coding is you talking to the computer, telling it what to do in a certain language that the computer is going to understand. Mm-hmm. But that's which, what coding is. Mm-hmm. Communicating what the computer is you're telling, what you, you're telling the computer what you want it to do, but you're using a different set of language. In that language, what you do, what you type it down is coding. Oh, so wait, if, I, if, I, if I've got BSc computer science, uh, am I going to be fixing computers? If I've got BSc computer science, am I going to be fixing computers? I think it depends on what you want because uh, um, if you go to UCT, there is computer engineering, which is mm-hmm. a lot of the and then mm-hmm. I feel like with us, we're going to be software. So it depends on what you really want to do because you can, you can have physics if you want to do that, right? Yes, um, the thing is about Silicon Valley computer science is not well developed as the UCT or of it. Only this year are they making it a branch of the school. So here it's quite certain still not a thing that I've been talking about. So because UCT, there is computer, you can be measured, you know, like they're measuring computer mm-hmm. So engineering will focus on the software, the hardware. Oh, so it's possible to only focus on the software part of computer, yeah, of computers. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But if you tell my choice of like this thing coming all the time, I think it's, it's something like information systems. But I think with information systems, I think some logistics of it. But you mean like IT? Yeah, it's like computer science and informatics, like bachelor. Oh, oh, so. But I feel like maybe with that one, since it's computer science, you focus on the software and the languages that you want to do, and information you want to feel like you focus on where you use it in IT, and a lot, and also the logistics and how maybe you have a network of people. Uh, how to, how so you can focus on the software how the software is used in different companies because that's what I think when I think of Intel you know, how they use the software in different networks of like how they use like the Wi-Fi here how it works and whatnot that's like information and the information system how you use a certain hardware in a in a in a, in a network of a company so that's how focus on the logistics of things oh okay oh I see. So that's another thing when you apply in and you can apply now and get rejected, which is good. Like for me I, I got rejected. But what matters is you can apply now, get rejected, but your name is in the system. They wouldn't give you a student number, they wouldn't know you in the system. At the end of at the beginning of January when the results come out, they have a fresh system. So there are those ones who are being accepted the whole year and then they due to pressure they then they don't pass well and then they come to some methods like you did. But now if you are here in some methods and then you pass in your metric and then you pass really well, you're gonna get in because your name is the same. So you not getting in in, in 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 the first term, third term, fourth term doesn't affect your final decision at all. It doesn't matter if they sent you no time. Yeah, it matters because it gives you the confidence boost and it also matters um but it, yeah, it, just, it also matters when you're applying for classes that you like so just matter. But they, they really but they really want it at the end of the year marks like really really matter. Yeah, I was gonna ask that at the time that you go to that. Excuse me, do you <laughs> 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 <laughs>
All of us actually. But okay, the ratio of the to P is But it would be intimidating, but you definitely find that it is and most of the time it's the, actually the meeting that I've done. So in your field of work, how many women work with you and do what you do? Not not like the other things, but do what you do. Thing is, I can't give you a specific. I can't give you a specific. There are more guys that can give you more guys than men, but I can't give you like a solid number. It's like ten women. If it's something that you like, you can go and do it. If you have a degree, it doesn't matter. Do you think that you're also like hiring? Sorry, I want to ask you a question. Yeah. You talked about uh, math and physics. Do you really have to love math to be able to go into engineering? <laughs> Not really. You just need to love solving problems. If you love solving problems, then engineering is just like if you get like the jinx, if you get excited about you solve something, then you can do something. But I'm not doing anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. But in Stellenbosch, it's a module. It's part of your module. It's part of your degree. So you're not losing out in any way. You won't be able to say that you don't have to do it. 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 Thank you. Do you guys know how it works? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So pretty much you do all all the modules that I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I think yours is now as well like that. Like the Afrikaans question is the English question. So um, they that's how they do it. However, from I know in food science, from the second semester in your first year, up the second year specifically, then they go because we are such a little like very small class, they go straight on English. So your classes will be English, however you will still receive your notes in Afrikaans, you still receive you can still write in Afrikaans, you can still comment in it, like all those stuff. Like it's not as if like my outdoor lecture is still on the class, but they just teach in English. Because you can't imagine you split a class of seventy on two. It's really tough. That's what they think. So I don't know if I can make it the same with every country. Like all the colors like the class is still in English, but the notes get stuff in Afrikaans, you can still study in Afrikaans. Because sometimes my Afrikaans, like I study English, I decided to study English, um, even though I'm Afrikaans, and then some of my Afrikaans friends came to me and asked me stuff in Afrikaans. <laughs> because obviously they are using like the Afrikaans words, but but at the end of the day, you can still um, go through that. Um, but yeah, but also like the one thing with the racism thing, just know agri sciences for specifically, like I, I served on the student committee and I know the efforts that they put in to actually get more people to kind of do this. Everything uh, going, yeah, so far so good. Like everything is going according to plan so far. I hope the mentees are making use of this opportunity for real. Yeah. But I'm still trying to get some more speakers. Uh, people are still coming. Okay, sure. I'm for which faculties? The admin. Um, for the PA faculty. Oh, for the PA. Yes, okay, sure. Yes, that oh. was the most important. But someone is coming for law as well. Okay, sure. Awesome. Guinness <laughs> Startup or something. I can't remember what the name is, but they changed the name. But they have like a very a welcome um, festival type of thing for the first year. And I've heard so many people now, I'm like, oh, you know, I don't want to go be there, take the opportunity to make sure that I'm happy to actually get to know the rest of your classmates in the best of your first year. So you can put your faculty because obviously you'll see them for two years. You will be sitting in the same classes for four two years. Chemistry, um, physics, you will be in the classes with them. So yeah, at the moment I actually know so many people. Well, and so many good scientists and science people. So it's like really, really and then I'll be like, okay, cool, now let's eat this steak and that steak. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the... Um, so yeah, so just be open-minded about it. Yeah. Really think about it, do your research. It's not easy, to be honest. To study applied science, there will be times that you will cry, you will feel like, oh wow. But it's, it just get, it's not difficult. Like, what you do is just remember your study and your life. Don't copy and paste, that's unfortunately not it. But you see, okay, this is what I do, this is how I can do it, and then you apply to the question that they just throw into your face. So, sciences, the same thing. So, yes. Can you explain what explain why soil science is all about? Soil science is as far as time. They are looking at. And that's like literally a whole connection amongst us all because the soil scientist is there to ensure that the ground that one of the let's say for example we learn about the fruit on the tree and like how it can be fun and nice and also have to be like okay cool if the ground is like this then you can you know stuff so that's like how we need to think the same with vertical china it's like you know we have to make sure that the ground is stable the ground is like fruitful for the vineyard to actually bloom you know stuff like that so that's like how i know i don't know specifically what you do i think you guys do more the soil science yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so it's basically what he said. It's just that you can choose your major. I know people who do soil science with water management. Yeah. I know people who do horticulture or plant pathology. So you just choose your expertise, like what you want to focus on. Um, it's not like every, every one of us does learn about the soil and what to do. But you need to have that like, focus. If you want to focus on pathogens of the soil, and then to your focus. I was I Um, hey, um, so, um, guys, uh, as closing remarks, I am very, very, very proud of my team and uh, the amount of work that we had put in uh, to see it being reflected in the event today and how everything just came out as planned and uh, how everything just went according to plan. I'm very thankful for that. Um, the event had a great turnout. Um, I am, you know, very... Uh, pleased without everything went and uh, the mentees were very interactive and the speaker speakers were very explanatory I can't thank them enough they went out of their way to help us and they were very passionate about their courses and explaining uh, to uh, our mentees and actually uh, having an impact on our mentees um, in terms of uh, helping them make a, an educated decision for uh, what they choose to um, to do next year so i am very 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 thankful um, to the speakers i owe them the world uh, we owe them the world as game artists we are very 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 grateful and thank you very much uh to the mentees as well you guys were respectful you guys were uh, interactive you guys um were inquisitive um and you asked really really important um questions and the speakers are actually um impressed by the level of questioning of questions that you guys ask them so i am very very proud of you guys um thank you very much class of 2022 uh today was a successful day peace